Alright lads and welcome back to another episode of my Rangers career mode on FIFA 18. This is episode 7 and we do go into some transfers because Samuel Chan especially has been commenting so much. A special shout out to him but also other comments they are very much appreciated. I appreciate all the support. So yeah, he did recommend Audrey in centre mid. I do think I only need to get one at this point because I've got Jack, I've got Ross, Sitar, Dorans. I might be selling Dorans. But I'm not sure, but just, you know, keep the team fresh. I want to have young players in. So we get a deal going for Audjar. Now into Rico Henry, who we actually mucked up in the summer transfer window. And at all times, I'm trying to get rid of uh, Lee Hodson. But no team actually wants him. They said they wanted a right winger, but there's no right winger. I was thinking of Dalsiel, but I think he's got, actually got a decent potential, like 80 plus. So I was thinking he could come in decent later. So I'll offer just 1.5 million to Brentford, that is. And then they say they want 1.550, like, or 1,550,000. I mean, an extra 50k, really. But they ac I accept that. And then into Marcus Edwards, who plays for Spurs and is 18 years old, and he's got a good potential, I think. So off for Bates. And then they come back with, like, 1,238,750 pounds, which is weird. It's a weird number to offer. So I'll put that back down to 1.1 million and 750 pounds, which can be bar changing that. And then they say they want one point million one million one hundred fifty thousand so accept that because we've got the money i think anyway i'm not actually quite sure what our transfer budget is looking like but we go into the wage uh, negotiations with marcus edwards and we offer sporadic team uh, role and then four years and they accept that so that's all good no release clause because who wants a release clause wage bonus he's on 10k now so i offer 12 just to make sure 200,000 signing bonus and they go ahead and accept that straight up so that's good now on to audio who a good centre mid will look potentially good centre mid and I offer him a rotation uh, squad role and also four years and they go on and accept both of them and they offer a, they say they don't want a re release clause and I don't so then into the salaries on 2600 so I offer 4k it's not much at all oh, 140,000 signing on bonus and they say that's a fair offer so straight up they, they accept that as well, only if it's the same with Rico Henry. Hopefully he straight up accepts it. We offer him a rotation squad role and they're happy with that. And now with four years on the contract and he is happy with that. And no release clause because uh, once again he wants a release clause. All for f 15 grand, same as he's on and 200,000 signing on bonus. They want 16,500, 220,000 signing on bonus, bonus and 10 appearances and then he gets an extra bonus. So I'm fine with that because it's only 200,000, it's not too much. So we're going to get into this game against Aberdeen and we put Rossiter in there because someone recommended putting Rossiter in there for Dorns. Or not especially for Dorns, just because Rossiter has a good potential and he could potentially be a good player. So that's what potential is. But anyway, Alexic on the ball, he gets tackled by his man, but he holds on to it and he gives it in the middle to Candace. He gives it on to Osbleys. Osbleys takes a touch and puts that one by the keeper in the 15th minute and gives Rangers the 1 0 lead and a great start that is. And Osbleys is actually a really clinical finisher, except for the last episode, they, they did miss quite a good chance. But when he gets into the box, he's 9 times out of 10 going to score. And as he did there, that was with his weaker right foot, so you know that he can do it with both sides. It was a bit close to the keeper, as you can see, under the keeper's arm, but it's still a finish either way. Alexic now on the ball, gives it up to Morelos. Morelos in the opponent's half now, gives it up to Osbleys. Osbleys then holds on to it, looking for an option, sees Morelos, he's run, he makes a run, he goes into the box with it, he cuts inside and crosses in back post where Kandé says he wins a header but Aberdeen clear that one off the line and then Alexic loses out on the edge of the box. Now Rossiter on the ball, gives up to Kandé, Kandé 1-2 with Morelos, he's through on goal, he has a shot with his left and he buries that into the back of the net and puts his 2-0 up away to Aberdeen in the 25th minute and I really expected a better fight, a better game from Aberdeen because Aberdeen are meant to be a good team. I mean, they did finish second in the Premier League last year, so I, mean, I was expecting a better game, to be honest. They weren't showing much threat up top, because they, they just weren't doing much up top, but we were, uh, they weren't doing much defensively, to be honest. But Alexic, now, that was meant to go, the pass was meant to go to him, but Aberdeen intercepts it. It comes over to Stewart, he headers it on, and it goes in the middle. I don't know who took that shot, but the big guy isn't happy with that shot as it went over the bar. Now Tav loses it, but it's just going to be half time anyway as Bruno Alves has it. Punts up to Candias, he gives it to Rossiter and he gets tackled. So that's half time and we go into the break 2 0 up and that's a great result away to Aberdeen. I'm not, I can't actually remember what the score was on the reverse fixture earlier this season, just a few episodes ago, but I, I, I think we won anyway. But 
James Tavernier on the ball, headers it up, it comes to Shinny for Aberdeen, he's got to edge of the box, gives it out wide to Logan, Logan plays a 1-2 with Shinny, he gets it back and he goes by two of his men, cuts it back and I think that was 10 months with that shot and West Fodringham actually made a really good save and Tavernier now on the ball, gives it up to Kandias, Kandias gets by his man, hits it across goal and Ryan Jack is there and what an incredible save by the keeper, like, I have not seen an, a better save in FIFA yet, like that is in, that's an amazing save, like I wasn't even raging at that, I was just what a save that is, one hand, Ryan Jack absolutely smashed that and the keeper still saved it and it was from point blank range but anyway Stuart on the ball for Aberdeen plays it up to Christie Christie goes into the box has a shot but it was quite tame I don't know if that took a deflection or not but it was quite a weak shot anyway now Aberdeen on the ball again ball, Dominic Ball former Rangers player gives it up to Morelos well M Ball didn't but it got intercepted up to Morelos and the keeper saved Morelos' shot and it was unlucky for Morelos, he worked it well. But anyway, Bruno Alves now in the ball for Rangers. Gives up to Dallas, who I gave him an appearance because I wanted to see what he could do, just like he did against Hamilton. He came on, but only got like two minutes. But he gets played through to Osweys. He finished that into the bottom corner, and that move started off with Dallas. Well, Alves, but I'll give it to Dallas anyway. And yeah, so Osweys with the second goal of the game, clinical as usual. And I was saying about Dallas, yeah, he got on last night against Hamilton in real life for his first appearance since the progress game which is I mean since the progress game you can tell he didn't play well since it was against progress but yeah he didn't really do much I wish he got about 10-15 minutes because the game was done it was 4-1 with 20 minutes to go but anyway Ryan Hardy on the ball gives it to Jack Jack gives it to Cardoso first time through to Lee Wallace he hits it and puts that into the back of the net and that is Lee Wallace's third goal of the season I mean what is it with left back scoring for Rangers Lee Wallace in this career mode Declan John got two against Hamilton in real life like how did that even happen? But anyway, yeah, I just want to know, Do you, would you want me to make like real life Rangers videos like match reviews or match reactions or whatever? Because, I mean, I do watch pretty much every game because I'm a fan, obviously. And yeah, it, there's a lot, a lot of the people who actually watch this, I believe, are actually Rangers fans. So let me know if you're interested in that. But we do win 4-0 there as Aaron Nemini wants a shot and Kenny McLean wants to start so I put them in well I put Nemini on the bench he actually came on in old form he looked okay but anyway into Hamilton who we did beat last night 4-1 looking to replicate a similar result as we go into this game and Kandias now on the ball he gives it up to Morelos Morelos holds off his man <laughs> what was he doing he gives it through to Kandias Kandias goes into the box cuts it back to Kenny McLean and he finishes that and puts us 1-0 up in the fifth minute great start on foot it was pretty much the opposite of the real life match where Hamilton scored in 58 seconds but anyway hopefully they don't come back and win 4-1 <laughs> but anyway Kenny McLean on, scored on the score sheet as Kandias gives up to Morelos, Morelos on to Jack, Jack back to Morelos, Morelos back to Jack, Jack then looking for another option plays it up to Kenny McLean, Kenny McLean back to Morelos, Morelos has a shot at the edge of the box, it gets deflected and goes out for a corner and from the corner it is James Tavernier to whip it in into big Bruno Alves, he gets a head on it but it's quite central and the keeper it made a kind of decent save but anyway Hamilton on the ball, punts it up, Rossiter loses out in the header as Crawford gets the ball, gives it to Bingham, Bingham over to Boyd, Boyd has a shot but it's a decent save by Wes Fodringham and now Crawford on the ball swings it in and I think that was Rossiter who headed it out for a corner and it was two, two against one so he done well there but Bussin on the ball with a corner he swings it into the middle to Thomas he headers it and that goes over Fodringham and what a header that is like I can't even I can't do anything about that that is really good header a really good cross and a really good header it wasn't even too good a cross it was just the header was brilliant right into the top corner but anyway Wes had no chance and yeah we kind of took our foot off the gas there as Hamilton got the equaliser as you can see from the corner not not the best it was a decent ball in but the defender Thomas had to I think he's a defender had to really do well there to get that one in but Ross turn now on the ball gives it up to Jack Jack on to Morelos Morelos turns with it and tries to give it back to Jack but he couldn't and Hamilton come away with the ball as Boyd has the ball gives it up to McKinnon McKinnon holds on to it looking for an option gives it on to left back where Gonzalez is gives it up to Bingham Bingham turns with it and gives it up to Crawford Crawford then has a shot and that couldn't have been far away from the top corner I thought that was in but anyway Hamilton on the 45th minute 
McKinnon on it, gives it to Donati, Donati out to Bingham, he turns his man, gives it over to Busan. Busan takes a touch and on the wing, he swings it into the box, but it's an easy catch for Wes, and that is half time. So we go into the break 1 1, and we've not created too many chances. It's kind of like part it yesterday, like in the episode yesterday, we didn't create too many chances. But Tavernier on the ball, he swings it in back post where Ryan Jack is, and what a defensive header that was. You'll see it's a corner. What a defensive clearance that was by the Hamilton man. But Osbleys with the corner, swings into Cardoso, and the defender clears off the line like nothing's fallen to us right now. But Jack loses out in the header there as Bingham comes away with the ball for Hamilton. He goes by Tavernier as he's got pace to burn. He goes into the box with the ball, and then he tries to shot. He shouldn't have shot there, but Wes made a good save. And as you can see, it's just end to end stuff as Tav eventually gets it away. As Morelos on the ball now in the 69th minute, plays it up to Candace. And Candace just gets the ball with the defender, takes it into the box, but the touch was a bit too heavy and that allowed the Hamilton defender to come back and get the interception. Jack giving the ball away and it was quite common this game as Cardoso loses out in the header and Bingham there, I think that was. He missed the shot, he should have scored there, but Jack on the ball gives it to Osbleys. Osbleys once again giving the ball away as it comes to Biabi. It might have been Biabi missing that recent chance, but Biabi goes by, I think that was Lee Wallace on the wing, gives it into Bingham, he crosses it in, and they get the goal. Crawford gets in before Tav. I thought Tav was really poor there actually because he wasn't moving, but Crawford got in there in the 88th minute to put Hamilton ahead, and this is the first scare we've had this career mode as you can see but Nemini on the ball gives it up to Cardoso Cardoso just gives it away and how many times in the last few clips did we give it away and we do lose our first game of the season I mean I knew that I wasn't going to go the whole season undefeated but I didn't expect that our first loss would be Hamilton at home but anyway I take a look at the league table and we are three points ahead of Celtic so still a bit of breathing space but we need to not muck up again and I did realise what I'd done wrong, I played Roster and Jack, two really similar players, so I won't do that again. But hope you guys did enjoy this video, if you did please do a like, and I'll see you all next time. Sorry there's only two, uh, two games in this episode, I didn't have time to actually do a third. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time, bye.